Hello again everybody. Um, just a little fun video today. I thought I'd do a video, five things that I've learned about Laceus niger after I started keeping them. Um, as I've said, when I first got into ant keeping, I watched an awful lot of YouTube videos on ant keeping, but a lot of those were on other species of ants. So these are five things that may or may not be specific to Laceus niger, but I've definitely noticed them about my Laceus niger that I didn't know when I first started. Um, so number one is water. They absolutely love water. They love a wet nest. Um, I would no longer keep Laceus in uh, an acrylic or plain plastic nest. I would only keep them in something that had some sort of stone gypsum whitong inlay because they love that they want their brood to be on a wet surface. They will live in water towers and there's always um, parts of the colony living in the water tower. They'll go mental in water test tubes. I've actually had them dig through the cotton of a water test tube and get to the water behind and drown themselves in it. So they're quite happy to kill themselves to get to water. That's just how obsessed with it they are. Um, number two is gaps. I knew Laceus niger could fit through a small gap, but until I started keeping them, I didn't realize just how small they could fit through. They can go through a tiny little gap. Uh, one thing, going back to the previous comment of water, is that they will, in my with my water towers, they will climb down the screw thread that that to, to, that screws the water part into the base. Um, and in some water towers that I've had, I've had to stop using them because they're able to climb all the way down the screw thread and get underneath and get inside the water tower and drown themselves. Um, I even, on one of my outworlds, the glue started coming away in the corner and I had to super glue it because there was only a tiny little gap and they were getting through there and getting out. Um, number three, climbing. I, they hate climbing, especially on their trunk roots. Now, I know what you're going to say, and yes, mine do this too. They spend their lives climbing up the outside of your outworld, testing the fluon barrier and trying to escape. But when it comes to running around on their day-to-day -day runs on their main trunk roots, they don't like to climb at all. What that means is on my pipes that connect my outworlds, wherever they have to climb up to go over a little overhang to get to the up out of the pipe, they always build ramps out of sand. Um, if you do have any parts of your setup where they need to go from a higher to a lower setting, maybe you have one of those outworlds where the hole into the outworld comes up in the wall and it's not down at floor level, give them a stick or a twig or a lollipop stick or something to climb up and down. They'll appreciate it and they'll thank you for it. And they love climbing up and down sticks. Even in my nest, this is my nest. Um, the top part of the nest is the older part of the nest. And the queen is always in these three chambers. And when I show pictures of the eggs, they're also in those three chambers. So that half of the nest is the main part of the nest. And each of the little sections of these wakushi nests have got this little um, over this little thing they have to climb over to move between sections. They've even dug a tunnel here to connect those two, the first two chambers, so that they don't have to climb over that tiny, tiny little climb over that they've got. Um, number four, dead ends. Uh, a lot of people, uh, ant suppliers, have realised that dead ends are a bad thing in nests. Um, Wakushi, I saw an interview with him once when he was talking about the design for his S3 nests and he said he deliberately designed them with no dead ends so that there wouldn't be anywhere where the ants leave their trash. However, what I've learned is you can deliberately give them a dead end, especially if that dead end has got a little sliding door and they will use it for their trash. And because it's got a little sliding door, you can slide it and hoover that out with a little um, USB keyboard hoover and uh, it makes it easy to get to their trash. So I, I like the dead ends and I deliberately give them a dead end. And finally, dead ants. 
Um, again, a lot of the videos I watched when I was first starting out, people used to talk about all oh, my colonies had a big die off and they would show pictures of the graveyard with piles of bodies of dead ants in there. And all through the time of keeping Lacius Niger, I was looking and thinking, where, where are my dead ants? I never see any. That is because Lacius Niger will eat the dead. Um, I've seen them feeding dead ants to the larvae. Um, and if you do look closely in the graveyard or in the trash area, like that little slidey bit that I said earlier, you will see just ant heads in there. The bodies are all gone. And that is why I, I for a long time, I thought, well, are my ants not dying? They are, but they just feed them to the larvae. So yeah, there you go. Just a fun little five things that I've learned about Lacius Niger that since I started keeping them, which I didn't learn from watching lots and lots of videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.